What's going on YouTube? It's Doug Dagnabbit from ModernWarzone.com and in today's video we're going to be covering the Season 2 Reloaded for Black Ops Cold War and Warzone update that's coming out on March 30th and the Black Ops Cold War update is actually going to be live tonight at midnight. So there'll be a day offset from each other but in today's video we're going to go through all the new gun changes, the weapon balancing. Uh, we still don't have Warzone patch notes yet but we will be able to tell you some of the new content that's going to be coming as well as um, a ridiculously large file size so stay tuned hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoy the video and uh, let's get right into it season two reloaded adds new multiplayer maps modes outbreak content and more plus reduced war zone file size even though you have to update 133 gigabytes if you're on pc and on modern warfare and it's 54 if you only have Warzone! I might as well delete the whole game! Because when I reinstall it, it's going to be smaller than when I bought it! What? Non-stop action continues in Black Ops Cold War and Warzone as Season 2 is reloaded. Plus, new optimizations, lower file size, even though you have to download 100 gigabytes across for Warzone and Modern Warfare by Daniel Noel on March 29th, 2021. Bullet points, season two content overview, the story so far. With CIA Special Officer Russell Adler still MIA and Armistice attempting to contain the spread of an unknown threat within Verdansk, there's no better time for Season 2 of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and Warzone to receive some reinforcements. Yeah, we're not going to read all this. Um, what you're going to get is two new operators, Revis and Wolf, the new ZRG 20mm sniper rifle, which is described as being extremely viable at long ranges, better than any other Cold War sniper rifle at long distance. This content will be following will be live following updates to Black Ops Cold War on March 29th at midnight Eastern Standard Time and Warzone on March March 31st at 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. All of this is just the tip of the spear, blah blah blah. Keep reading for everything you need to know. Miami Strike 6v6. That is going to be a daytime Miami map. They finally listened and they also changed the, the layout of it. Um we can pull up a little uh, video that Treyarch posted on Twitter right here in the edit and show you that it's it's quite a bit different and hopefully it plays a lot better because uh, Miami is terrible. Uh, we're also getting Mansion 2v2 and 3v3 at the launch of Season 2 Reloaded. They're going to be face-off maps or basically used for gunfight type things. Uh, Golova Multi-Team at launch, a seemingly traditional Russian village in the idyllic Ural Plains hides a dark secret beneath the service. First appearing as an exclusive locale within Outbreak at the start of Season 2, Golova is now available in multi-team modes with multiplayer. Prepare for relentless combat throughout the town. From its massive church to its rows of houses and industrial park, compete in long-range fights across its stair-step terrain, or stick to its objective area for close quarters play. Uh, they don't mention it here, but Golova is actually used by Perseus as uh where the numbers uh experiments go down like what happened to mason why he sees all the numbers and new multiplayer modes and features include multi-team hardpoint at launch which is actually going to be on the golova map and used in fire team game modes it's going to be quite interesting to see how that plays out on such large maps with uh 10 squads of four in each one and there's multiple hard points at all times. They last 120 seconds before rotating to the next location. And your squad needs to reach 1,000 points to win the match. That's actually going to be pretty interesting. And uh, I think they're trying to uh, test how well it'll run. We'll see, though. New prop hunt maps and props launch. Miami Strike and Satellite join the rotation of prop hunt maps in this week's update. Along with new props being introduced into existing maps. Gunsmith Customs. Later in the season, Gunsmith Customs are coming to Black Ops Cold War, allowing players to mix and match attachments from weapon blueprints of the same weapon type and create a class. So you can use like the stock off of one blueprint that you purchased, and then you can use the uh, barrel off of a different blueprint that you've purchased, and they'll still r maintain their aesthetics, which I don't understand why, why it has to be like that. Why can't, when you buy a blueprint, it's just a camo that goes on every single part of every weapon that you bought it for. I don't understand that. Now we get into the meaty stuff. 
Weapon tuning. Weapon tuning is set to happen at launch. Season 2 Reloaded brings a fresh round of weapon tuning to Black Ops Cold War, including LMG adjustments and tuning for the LC-10, AK-74U, MAC-10, KSP-45, Milano-821, Krieg-6, Fafar, praise Jesus, Groza, Magnum, and the RPG-7. This also includes a complete balance pass on several attachments for assault rifles and SMGs, as well as an increase to rocket damage against enemies with flak jacket and hardcore. That's been needing to happen since the game launched. Get all the details in the patch notes at the Treyarch blog. Alright, gunfight tournaments are coming in Season 2 Reloaded in Season, which means they're not going to be available at the launch of Season 2 Reloaded because, you know, they got to give us content. Think you've got the best shot? Now's your chance to prove it when gunfight tournaments arrive later this season. I, I thoroughly am thoroughly happy that gunfight has returned in Black Ops Cold War. One of my favorite multiplayer modes on Modern Warfare and absolutely a blast to host or run a tournament for. It's always a good time. Uh, new zombies content and features new outbreak region is sanatorium at night and this will be coming at launch so um tonight at midnight it looks pretty dope i mean it's just sanatorium at night though there's a new outbreak objective which i think this makes the sixth objective eager to control the transformational properties of dark ether essence dr strauss has, has a new task for the requiem strike team secure essence from the undead for analysis and e experimentation the objective for secure is straightforward, but your survival is less guaranteed. Squat up and call down the essence conversion modules from er orbit. Orbit. These rocket-powered collection capsules siphon essence from the undead and convert it into items you can use in combat. To complete this task, Requiem agents must kill zombies in the established perimeter until the conversion process is complete. So, sounds like you're having to hold down a hard point. whoop de doo There's a new uh, Outbreak vehicle, the dirt bike, at launch. I don't know why that needed this home section. New Outbreak intel and more at launch on all the maps. And now, this is actually huge for people that play zombies. They have added um, player XP and battle pass XP to DidOps Arcade, which just recently got a first-person mode instead of having to play in the third-person top-down mode. So, I think you're going to see a lot of exploits involving um, DidOps Arcade and people... Um, I don't know how to put this. Exploiting it for XP. So we'll see. Um, test your side scroller skills in an all new Silverback Sideways bonus map in DidOps Arcade 3. Okay. Uh, new apply blueprint feature. Zombies players will now be able to apply any weapon blueprint they own to their weapon in the pause menu in Outbreak, Firebase Z, and D Machine, including any weapon picked up or purchased from a wall buy. Slayton style. PlayStation fans could take on the new containment mode and onslaught for an intense new experience on the game's gunfights maps, along with a new blueprint challenge to conquer and unlock. New additions also include level 2 and level 3 armor drops, so they're now adding armor drops to onslaught, which I saw Mr. Dalek JD tweet about earlier. I think that's something zombie players have been asking for for a minute. Uh, ammo mod and aether tool drops to upgrade your weapons, as well as new bronze, silver, and gold chalice drops that will pack a punch your weapon for the first time in onslaught. New operators and weapons, you get Wolf, NATO launch from a young age, Terrell Wolf perfected his skills as the hunter in the Louisiana bayous surrounding his grandparents' home. Entering service on his 18th birthday, a memory of his fallen brother, he now stalks more dangerous prey as an elite Delta Force sniper, working alongside Woods in the search for Russell Adler. Watch out for his second in command during his signature finishing move, as his faithful canine companion, who I believe is a uh, Rottweiler? is ready to help Wolf eliminate any threats to the pack. Revis is the uh, female operator we have right here, and she's coming in season, so she's not coming tomorrow. Um, Carla Revis grew up in Nicaragua, surrounded by the Menendez cartel. Uh, they're bringing up the Menendez cartel again! We are so close to when the Menendez cartel was, like, big, you guys. And I did, like, a whole thing about it and dropped back on it. But we're going to see Raul Menendez be involved in the war zone or some type of storyline soon. They've referenced him too many damn times. He's had direct contact with per with Perseus and with um, Stitch. And they, they uh, agreed to work together and use their supply lines in exchange for a prisoner being released from Miami, blah, blah, blah. But I, I, 
you're going to see Raul Menendez play a big role sometime. Just saying. Um, drove her to action against the cartel's influence, using guerrilla tactics to weaken them by any means necessary. Her skills are unparalleled in the continuing search for Adler. Get access to Terrell Wolf and Carla Rivas for Black Ops Cold War and Warzone as part of separate store bundles in Season 2 Reloaded. Uh, the ZRG 20mm Sniper in Season. Boasting a higher bullet velocity than any other weapon in this class, the ZRG 20mm Sniper Rifle is built to excel in extremely long ranges. Operators will appreciate its fast reload speed and its ability to eliminate enemies with a single shot to the head, chest, or shoulders. Unlock the ZRG 20mm by completing its in-game challenge or by acquiring the Jackpot Sniper Bundle, featuring a legendary new sniper rifle weapon blueprint. There it is. That's a big bitch. I think it'll be a great Warzone rifle. I think the ZRG will be a good Warzone rifle, but we'll see. Sounds like it's going to be competing with the HDR. That's a fire skin. More in the store. In addition to Wolf Revis and the ZRG 20mm blueprint bundle, the store in Black Ops Cold War and Warzone will receive plenty of new bundles through the rest of Season 2. This includes the Dragon's Greed bundle, which will leave you ready to strike fear into your enemies. This bundle features two legendary weapon blueprints with enough gold to rival the Dragon's Horde, as well as a new legendary bulldozer skin donning a dragon-themed mask. There he is. Wait. So, the XM4 is getting a reactive camo. You guys see that? The XM4 is getting a reactive camo. It's right there. Here's the meat of it all. Modern Warfare and Warzone file size reduction. Let's try to understand this before we get mad. Okay? Ah. <sighs> Season 2 Reloaded also brings great news of a lower optimized file size across Warzone. That sounds wonderful. Those who own the full version of Modern Warfare and Warzone or who own the free-to-play Warzone game will find their overall file size footprint reduced on their respective platform. That sounds wonderful. Enhancements to the overall content management system has been made possible through data optimization and streamlining content packs needed for individual game modes. This will come after a larger than usual one dime update for season two reloaded, which will include these optimizations and is necessary in order to reduce the overall footprint that we made when we made the game. Future patch sizes for Modern Warfare and Warzone are expected to be smaller than the ones set to release on March 30th at 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I have to ask this before I continue to read. Haven't they said in every update that the next update would be smaller? Every time. Every time. It is never smaller. It only gets bigger. Hold on. We can't get mad. Nobody get mad. Everybody just calm down. Try to, try to stick with me. Stick with me here. They're going to make it right. Along with the ability to remove individual modes that are no longer played, owners of the full Modern Warfare experience will see more space freed on their platform of choice. However, those who want to continue playing campaign, multiplayer, and or spec ops will need to reinstall the optimized content packs, which will be released alongside and shortly after the Season 2 Reloaded update. Following the update, the Warzone file size will be reduced by between 10.9 gigs and 14.2 gigs. And the Modern Warfare Warzone file size will be reduced by between 30 gigs and 33.6 gigs, depending on your platform. Okay, that sounds great. That sounds great. But the real question is now, what, what are we about to have to deal with to get that? Because you don't just get something nice from Activision. You got you to figure it out. They're not just going to give it to us. Um. The following is the approximate reduction. So these are not the update sizes. This is the reduction it will be overall at the end. For both the free-to-play Warzone and full modern, war modern Warzone, Warzone files on each platform. 
PlayStation 5 will receive a 10.9 gigabyte Warzone only reduction and as well as PlayStation 4 and they'll both receive a 30.6 gigabyte file size reduction if you own both versions. Xbox Series X will receive a 14.2 gigabyte and that's for Warzone early and 33.6 gigabyte reduction. I mean, that's still pretty good. Xbox One 14.2, 33.6 and PC is getting our file size reduced by 11.8 gigs and 30.6 if you own both. So my file size will be reduced by 30.6 gigs. Um, now here, here, here's the cream of the crop, boys. Wait till you see these download sizes. They're great. Let me tell you. Come on down. Come on down to Activision, Treyarch, and Raven Software Studios. We're giving away free hard drives. The Season 2 Reloaded update will have a download size of approximately 7.4 to 14.18 gigabyte for owners of the full ver version of Black Ops Cold War. And 52 to 57.8 gigabytes for owners of the free-to-play Warzone, who are up to date with the latest updates on either or both, both games. Again, the Warzone download is a larger file size due to the optimization of data. Get ready, boys. Black Ops Cold War's update sizes are between 7.4 and 14 gigs max. That happens tonight. The Warzone update sizes, PlayStation 5 and 4 is 52 gigs, okay? Xbox Series X and Series S, as well as the Xbox One, is 57.8 gigabytes. Doesn't matter if it's Warzone only or Modern Warfare and Warzone. And PC... Oh. And PC... It's 52.4 gigabytes if you only own Warzone. And 133.6 gigabytes if you own Warzone and Modern Warfare! That's more than my Xbox 360 had in the whole console! If you have bad internet, you're going to be downloading this for days! For days! Remember, the Warzone download is not necessary if you're only playing Black Ops Cold War and vice versa. Furthermore, players can choose to uninstall and remove other data packs if they are no longer needed for a smaller file size, even though you have to download it just to play Warzone. <laughs>